hello and welcome back to another nail video today i'm using young nails and the color cover peach young nails monomer and my number 12 panna kalinsky brush and going right in my first step is to prime these nails tips have already been laid and i have already etched the surface of the nail and then i go right in and place my first bead of acrylic on the thumbnail Looking back on it, I probably should have used a bigger bead, but that's okay. I'm going to work this product in. Don't forget the first bead of acrylic. You always want to pat, 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 pat that acrylic in place as you see here. And I place my second bead of acrylic directly above the first. I pat down the top of the acrylic so that it's flush. And then I gently swipe the bottom of the acrylic so that it blends in with my first bead. Then I place my cuticle bead a little before the cuticle area and I use the tip of my nail brush to push that acrylic back towards the cuticle area so that I am not flooding the cuticle area and that it is as flush as can be with my natural nail. And then I gently swipe the bottom of that product just to blend it in with the previous acrylic so that it's nice and smooth. And then I decided to go back in and add a small bead towards the tip of the nail because it was looking a little thin. Um, now you just wanna remember the nails don't have to be too thick. They actually need to be the width of a credit card. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're laying your acrylic, especially towards the tip of the nail. Now the apex does need to have a nice structure as you see here. And I'm repeating the same steps on my pinky finger, placing my first bead of acrylic where the tip and the natural nail meet. And then I always pat, pat, pat that first bead of acrylic in place. Then I place my next bead of acrylic directly above the first. And since this nail is rather small, I'll go ahead and use the tip of my brush to push that acrylic back towards the cuticle area. And as you see, I make sure that I get all of that product off of the skin because we don't want it to dry on the skin because that will cause your nails to lift. And then I gently swipe that product down so that it blends in with the acrylic that's already been laid. And then I go back in to add one more bead of acrylic and this just helps with that apex. And because the cuticle area was a little thin, I wanted to add a little more product because I am going to go in and foul that area as well. And I just repeat these same steps on all of the nails, so I will let you all watch and enjoy my acrylic application.
And these are how the nails look after they've been foul, shaped, and buffed, which I did do off camera. And these are the colors that I will be using in today's design. Um, I'm going for an army fatigue um, kind of camouflage look. And so as you see here, I go in and I am using this forest green color on my pinky as well as my index finger. Then I go in with this neon green on my ring finger and my middle finger because I thought this color is really cute first and then I thought that it would be a nice pop of color to add to the army fatigue camouflage look um, in contrast to like the traditional style and it turned out really really cute. And after two coats of that neon green, I am using my nail art brush and the forest green that I used on my pinky and my index finger to create these cloud-like shapes. Um, I don't know what you would call them, but I did refer to a picture. I always, always try to refer to pictures when I'm doing designs or nail art um, because I want it to look as realistic as possible. And so I do that on my middle finger and my ring finger. And then I go back in with a different shade of green and I kind of layer those colors to create that camouflage effect. So I'll just let you all watch and enjoy. And these are how the nails turned out. 
coat. I love them. I think they're super cute. I end up top coating my pinky, index finger, and thumb, and I mat it my middle finger and my ring finger and I thought I think these nails look so cute as always I want to thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next nail video